Welcome to a solo Rust adventure. And today I'm taking it back to my roots with a classic solo survival experience. And a cool little building exploit mixed in, which you're not going to want to miss. And today I'm playing Fresh Wipe on my own vanilla solo only server. My name is Wiljam, and I hope you enjoy the real Rust experience. Spawning in fresh wipe with nothing but a rock and a torch on a full pop vanilla solo server. The first thing I did was travel to bandit camp and complete the first task from the lumberjack. What? Why is it so far? Bruh. I might actually reach the bottle at some point today. Hey, there we go. Only took 10 minutes. After returning the vodka bottle, I collected my metal hatchet reward, and then I set off again, heading towards the northeast of the map. My plan was to get a starter down on the coast, next to where the underwater labs was located. I just want to say a massive thank you for the support that I've had this last week. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I've been streaming on Twitch, uh, taking part in the Rust Twitch Rivals event. I was captain of one of the EU teams, which was so much fun. Um, but I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that kind of stopped by in the streams and said hi. And uh, let me know in the comments what your favourite moment of the week was. Ooh, these guys. Are they going to fight? They are. This is free. Get back here. Oh, no. Ooh. That guy almost killed me. I would not have been happy. Oh, after running so far. This guy. What do you have? Ooh. Another metal hatchet as well. I'll take it, man. Despite only being a few minutes into wipe, I immediately realized just how popular this location was going to be. Already, more than 10 different solo bases appeared on the shore. I was going to need a change of plan. I cannot believe how many people there are here. Oh, I missed the headshot. Okay. He's not dead? There we go. Backtracking from the northeast coast, I decided to head south into the snowy regions where the Arctic military base was located. This would be a fantastic monument for me to grind scrap quick and get myself a level 2 workbench as fast as possible. Let's go with the rainbow door today. And then key lock. I'll just get a bag down around here anyway. I think right here is perfect. I laid down a quick starter on the edge of the tallest mountain in the area. A classic Wiljam location. I'm just going to hope that when the sun rises there aren't loads of bases nearby. have light. Now I just need a tool cupboard. Alright, that should be enough wood. Beautiful stuff. We're secure. As the sun rose on a new day, I headed out to farm some stuff. This would allow me to upgrade my base. Let's get some animal fat cooking into low grade. That'll give me a furnace, and then I should go farm some comps. Let's go with a standard hexagon today. I'm gonna wing it. I'll leave that as wood in case I want to break it later. be right without a bear rug. Okay, and then I can get this furnace down here. Get that cooking up nicely. And now we've got an airlock. Let's 
With my starter base secure and plenty of blueprints on the server, my only goal was to build up scrap as fast as I could for a level 2, and with the Arctic military base so near, I would reach it in no time. Ooh, high wall. Let's get that tech trash recycled, and I'm gonna get out of here. Not gonna overstay my welcome, just gonna get some scrap and get it home. That's almost 100 scrap in one run. Four more of those, and I've got myself a tier two. I should be able to get this in record speed. No! Don't run! Come back! Oh, someone else is... Oh no, they're fighting each other. Oh, that guy's dead. <laughs> oh, poor guy didn't have a chance. Thank you for the crossbow. Oh, okay. I don't know where that arrow went. <laughs> oh, I'm hitting my shots today. I'm just going to avoid this guy. He's still waiting. Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Leave me alone! Oh, I missed. I think I'm good. Good job, bro. Good job. You play a lot, you're good. Better you be good. <laughs> that was like the most backhanded compliment I've ever had. <laughs> After killing a few players, I needed some more storage. I crafted myself a large wooden box and unloaded all of my excess loot, before heading back to the Arctic base for another farming run. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Guy was zooming around. Two tech trash, that's good. 40 scrap, easy. Right, get that recycled. What do we go in here? Some ammo. Ooh, a solar panel, cool. Oh, 20 high core, that's good. Tech trash. So many crates. Okay, it is time for me to go home. That is a good run. Let's go. That's almost halfway to a tier two. After returning home, I used my stone to upgrade my base, crafted a machete to destroy the single door frame. This would allow space for me to build a metal double door. There we go, that opens up the core a little bit. Got the bear rug back down, of course. With enough scrap built up, I was able to make myself a workbench level 1. And with this, I crafted the first revolver of the white. You know what? I'm just gonna make a revy. Why not? I've got the materials. I may as well. I'm go with the black and gold skin today. Got a rug. What is going on? Ooh, that's a good crate. Let's 
That's another 100 scrap, bunch of cloth as well, which I need. Look at that sunset, man. Feels good. Gotta get the rug down there, there we go. Looks beautiful. Missed. He's got to be one shot. <laughs> Found you. Oh, poor dude. Thank you. Time to wait out another night. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to roam. May as well. Ellie, go away, man. Aren't really any crates here at the moment. Probably someone's got a saw already. I thought that was the saw guy. <laughs> he had nothing. Oh dear. I'm hitting my shots with the Revy today. That's a computer. I know it you. Ooh. Did I knock him? I think I did. Oh. Thank you for a free revolver and a kit. That is what we like to see. Ooh, a spring and another solar panel. That's huge. I should set up electricity soon, actually. I've kind of got everything I need. I just need to get a battery. And then I'm sorted. Oh my gosh, that guy already has a compound. What the hell? Oh, the people on my server go crazy. Hello, Yogi. Get out of here. That's what I thought, bitch. Oh my god, there's another one. And I have nothing to farm it with. Uh, well, what do I do now? That sucks. Oh my gosh. What does this guy have? Oh, he brought me a bone knife. What a legend. Just what I needed. Thank you, sir. Now we got another bear rug. Because what's better than one bear rug but two? Beautiful. It's full health. Got some cooked bear meat ready. Computer station. That's kind of neat. Might use that. Food. More pipes. Oh, a silencer. Is good for garage doors. This is not going to take me long to get here, too. I mean, this is a huge run if I get this home. Oh my god, I'm at 480 scrap. Oh, that's insane. It's such a fast start. No, dude. Go away! No! Ow! Please leave me alone. Yeah, that's right. Run, bitch. Get out of here. Oh. Well, thank you.
thank you. Oh. Oh. Well, that sucks. I guess there are people with Thompsons now. I need to get that tier too fast. Before my neighbours outgear me. Well, final run to the Arctic base, and I will have myself a workbench. After just over an hour of grinding the Arctic base, I already had enough scrap for a tier 2. As soon as I returned home, I would craft it, unlocking meds and tier 2 weapons like the SMGs. I can't believe I've already found three solar panels, it's so weird, man. Another five pipes, that is a terrible mill crate though. Ooh, that's more like it, five pipes and 20 icor. There we go. Over 500 scrap. I love having blueprints, man. It makes life so much easier not having to farm for them. Okay. We need to do a bit of rearranging in here soon. I'm gonna make space for this workbench. Boom. Looking good. out for the furnaces. I think I'm just gonna keep metal smelting for now, it's kind of what I need most. I'll need a little bit of sulfur, but... Nice. With my tier 2 workbench placed and one SMG body in my boxes, I decided to craft a Thompson. The best and most powerful gun available at tier 2. You know what, I'm just gonna craft a Tommy. I feel like I need to get ahead of my neighbours. I can't think there are many other people roaming Thompson right now. Hopefully it's just me. Obviously that other neighbor as well clearly has Thompsons. And I reckon the guy in the compound also has them, but apart from those two. the guy that killed me with the Thompson earlier. I bet he's gonna come after me. He even had my revolver on him. The cheek. He's wearing my kit. Oh, frame drops. Two HP. Oh, that was the same guy. For sure. Yeah, there we go. I knew he'd come out looking for me. Well, uh, he's gonna know where I live now. That's for sure. Is he door camping me though? Oh, he's dead outside my base, okay. farming run. Those furnaces loaded up again, got to keep them full and stocked and running all the time. So important. With plenty of loot flowing in, my boxes were starting to get full. It was time for me to expand my base. I can actually craft garage doors now, so I should probably do that in my core. Ah, gotta get rid of the campfire. Nice. 
Nice. I've actually got quite a secure base now. That will be my jump up for now. That guy has a Thompson as well. Ooh, this guy's farming components. <laughs> oh, he's not dead. Oh, I can hit this. Just keep running in a straight line. <laughs> a sniper. I feel kind of bad he didn't actually have anything. Don't know where to put any of this stuff, man. Need to build another floor. So with some honeycomb like this, if I then upgrade my roof, I'll be at least eight rockets, which will be great for now. Um, I'll need to get another garage door inside, but I think that's pretty good for a wipe day on a solo server. Can't imagine I'm gonna get offline. With honeycomb added, I upgraded my ceiling to metal. This would mean any raid on the base would be at least 8 rockets. Fantastic for wipe day on a solo only server. Get the bear rug back. Let's make this for honeycomb as well. And then jump up here. Beautiful. After killing a few people in my area, I knew I'd put a price on my head. I decided to use the silencer I found on my tops to keep my head low and avoid attracting too much unwanted attention. Alright, I'm becoming an assassin now. We're going silencer game. Oh my. Huh? <laughs> okay, dude. I don't know what happened to those bullets. What the fuck? I'm not about to die to this guy. There we go. Sneaky beaky like. We have light. Ooh. Oh, I have to go for that airdrop. I can't not. I think I'm gonna miss it. Has it already landed? This might be the guy. No, dude. Oh, he's not running. What? Bro, how many bullets? The silence, it kind of feels nice. I don't know why, it feels weightier than it did before. Laptop, that's good. I might keep them now, actually, so I can craft auto turrets. Just need to find myself a CCTV camera and I'll be good. That guy almost killed me. I can't be whiffing oh, like that. It's a GG. I respect that. I must say, the players on this server, for the most part, are pretty respectful. Like, I get a lot of GGs and a lot of, like, I don't know, I tend to get too many toxic people. I had successfully used my one Thompson to bring in boxes worth of loot. The best trade you can hope for as a solo. Once again, I was crafting more boxes for storage. Ooh, that's a big fight. Ooh, I'm 
the guy who was still on farming. Oh, he dropped. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Oh my gosh. Nope, just getting in base. I'm not looting. Let's go. That is huge. Let's go. After lots of PvP and building up plenty of scrap and farm, I wanted to take a step back and relax a bit. Focus on my base and try some different things. Ah, feels good having this salvaged axe. Okay, furnace is loaded, now I've got plenty of metal ore thanks to that guy's kind donation. With the computer station I'd found, I had the idea of using it to check the safety of oil rig. A monument I rarely take, but I thought I'd give it a go for the fun. You know what, should I just- there's no one on it. Should I just full send? Like, <laughs> fuck it, just do it. And so, with nothing but a bow and a double barrel, I went to go look for a boat. My plan was to jump onto oil rig and use a tactic Spoon Kid had taught me, hiding in the vents and waiting for someone else to bring the key cards. Come on, there's gotta be a boat somewhere. I'm not seeing any boats. That guy is building a monstrosity. Hello. Okay, so when I was playing with Spoon Kid, what he, what he did is he like got onto oil rig and just ran straight for the vent and just hid. And that's what I'm gonna try and do now. But uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, man. I like this strat because it means you don't have to take cards, and that's kind of the most painful thing about dying on rig is when you lose cards. I will be commandeering your vessel. It is now mine. Good day, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, there is a boat over there. That is not good timing. I wish I brought my gun. I just wanted to keep it low risk, high reward. I don't want to bring my Thompson, but maybe I should have. Oh, is he chasing me? Oh, come on, man. What do I do? Do I just stay- Oh my gosh. Do I just stay here until he pushes me? Oh, he has a revolver as well. Okay. At least I hit him. Maybe he'll push me? Come on, man. Oh, he's coming! What? <laughs> oh, he's fucked up now! Unlucky, dude! <laughs> What's this guy doing, man? <laughs> he's fumbled. Do I chase after? Oh, he's turning back. Okay, I'll let him board the boat. He's making a play for the boat now. I don't know how I missed that first shot, but uh, oh well. At least we got him. He did lose all of my health, though. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna send it now. After killing the bottom scientist, I decided to full send. All I had to do was find the vent that Spoon Kid showed me. I'm free. Is this a bad time to say I have no idea where that vent is? Oh my gosh, so much lag. What is going on with my PC? Okay, I think it's up here on the left. Oh no, dude. No, dude. Oh, okay, I'm gonna die. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die, man. Where's this man? Bro! Oh my god, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Fuck! Uh. I think this is it. Yeah, okay, dude. I probably should have figured out first. My god. Okay. Maybe I probably should have checked where the vent was before jumping on oil rig. But hey, you live and learn.
Now back to the solo grind. See that right there? That that is why I don't do rig because I'm shit. <laughs> okay, I'm a Rome Tommy. Okay, thank you, Polar Bear. I appreciate that. Fuck, man. It's not dead! Oh my gosh! Why do these things have so much health? After some more PvP, it was absolutely time for me to expand my base and build the second floor. Alright, I've been putting it off long enough. It is time to expand. Alright, I think I'll just keep it to the inner triangles. I'll have a front door. Actually, I think I'll have a front door on the left side. And I'll make this a wall. There we go. I like that. That'll do. We're winging it today. And now it's time for the little exploit that I was talking about in the intro. Now, this was found by YouTuber Rexmore. Make sure you check him out if you haven't already. And the way this works is by clipping solar panels through walls, you can completely conceal them within your base while still collecting power from the outside world, effectively creating invisible power. It's a really cool trick that can be used to protect your electricity and potentially even surprising raiders with auto turrets and traps. I think I got that placement right. Yeah. Oh, no! Bro! <laughs> That was a bag right there. Oh man, I'm gonna die. That bag just screwed me. Fuck. Oh, I bet that was my neighbor that just built that little two by one down the hill. Dell. Right. I still need to get some more wood. I lost my salvaged axe, man. It's not fun. Oh! That mother... Door camping me with my own double barrel. This guy wants war, man. He wants it. Oh my... Leave me alone. Hey, can we just be friends, please? <laughs> this man. man. It was misclicked. I did not mean to. It appeared that I had a frustrating neighbor. For now, he seemed relatively harmless, though, so I ignored him. Hey, I'm sorry for. Uh, the door camp you man <laughs> I am very uh, not this have dude. you and I... you uh, you have the guns so yes yo fuck should I just give this guy this crossbow and see what he does uh, but I guarantee you he's gonna I'm, shoot I'm me sorry, with it man. I'm so ready for this for me let's see let's see thank you Miss click! Miss click! <laughs> it was the misclick! This fucking dude, man, honestly. <laughs> you just can't with some people, man. Okay. 
right, let's get all that to stone, seal up my solar panels, which is kind of weird, but hey, look at that. And yeah, we're getting power, even though it's completely sealed. How cool is that? seal up this roof. And let's get a frame in front of there. I have a jump up there. I think that'll be my roof access. And jump up over here. Another garage door down on this doorway. And with my secret solar panel compartment completed, my battery was being filled up. Now all I was looking for were the components to craft myself an auto turret. Yeah, just need a camera now. SMG body, that is nice. Rifle body. Oh! Camera! <laughs> Another one, okay. Admin abuse? Someone spawned that in? Bruh. What are you doing? Stop camping me. Oh my god. How many polar bears? I just... Uh, this whole video is just me getting attacked. Bro! Stop! Uh, how did this guy even get in my base? I wanted to ask you if you have the tarp. I want to make a pool. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Tarp I can buy from I'll give them you. some tarp. Some tarp. I will Why not? pay you 50 cloth. <laughs> this guy. I am going to make the oh, above ground him. pool. I'll give it to him. Is this all that you have? It is, I'm sorry. Do you want me to pay? Oh no, did I just disconnect in front of him? Oh, bro. Well, this is gonna be a good social experiment. Is. <laughs> oh my god. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't loot me! Now that. That is the greatest character arc of all time. <laughs> From ultimate betrayal. To not losing me, man. Oh my word. Sometimes all you gotta do is show a bit of kindness to people and they're not always trash bags. <laughs> oh my god. And after that wholesome moment, it was time to fortify my base. I crafted more doors, garage doors, and even some auto turrets for protection. I think two auto turrets will be enough. One under there. Loaded up with some ammo. I'm already running out of space again. Nice. Unfortunately, I'd placed my tool cupboard badly at the start, so I had to destroy it and replace it, allowing me to reach it even if I placed a window frame in front. There we go. Right, hopefully I didn't mess that up. I should still be able to place a window in front. Nice. My core is slightly more sorted and organized. Get that turret hooked up as well. I think I'm going to need more solar panels to keep two turrets running though. And after further upgrading my core, I headed out for some PvP and roaming. Oh my! I'm changing my settings! Leave me alone. This guy. 
wonder if he'll push me. That was a good shot by him. Give her the chainsaw though. He fumbled that bag so hard. Oh man, how am I alive? Oh, that poor dude. He messed up bad. Well, I will take another saw. Guys farming. We like those kills. Ooh, thank you. Another jackhammer as well. Beautiful. Let's get metal cooking again. Oh, I already need more wood. Are, 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 do you sell some uh, some stone? No. No. Do you sell some stone? What, what's your name? What's your name? <laughs> are you a uh, KW? Is that it? Well, that's all right. I don't know. Hey, we got some wood for the furnaces. That is good. Ooh, air drop. Oh, I might as well go for that. Land all the way down there. I think that's the guy who got it. You Oh well, we'll take that airdrop. Wasn't a very good one, but uh, I'll take the custom. I realized I needed more power to keep the two auto turrets running, and so I quickly set up a second hidden solar panel compartment. I think four solar panels should be enough, right? I can't even see him, man. Those snow kits are so broken. After that unfortunate encounter, I decided to try some settings that removed the vision of any skins in the game. I figured this may help if I ran into the same player again. Those full whiteout kits just make you so hard to spot in the bushes. Do I see anyone? Oh, these guys are wholesome. Time to murder them. <laughs> I mean, I feel bad. That guy was quite nice. I could hear him giving the stuff back, but... Come on, hit him! There we go. My gosh, when they swerve, I can't hit anything. Very nice, that was the guy that killed me earlier. I was starting to run low on low grade, and I needed an oil refinery set up quickly. For this, I was gonna need a compound to make sure it was safe, and so I grabbed as much stone as I had spare, and headed to outpost to trade for wood.
Should be able to get plenty of wood from this. I think I'm going to use that scrap for gloves. Just craft up a bunch of high walls, might as well get them going. a little bit more wood to buy. Some tack gloves. Recycled. Oh, that is like 800 cloth. Nice. With the wood and cloth from outpost, I returned home, ready to build my compound in the sky. I really hope this compound can fit around the edge of this cliff. If it does, that would be so cool. I kind of like the look of having no skins. It feels weird, but it's kind of nice. Come on, go blue. Let me sit. Wait, actually, I need to get rid of these. Okay, so I can place one there. This might actually work. Okay, can I? I can join it. This is amazing. Oh my god. Polar bears, man. What are they doing? Oh, I can fit it. Ju okay. No, why is that red? Please. Wait, is it because of that? No way. Oh, that is beautiful. This is the perfect solo compound. Right on the top of the cliff. Refinery cooking. That feels good, man. It's been quite a while since I built a compound solo. It's kind of had a few rough wipes. That will be my access to my top roof. Nice. That has cleared up so much space downstairs. It's great. With my third floor added, I took the time now to do some general box organization before heading out for some more roam. Yo, loads of low grade. Ah, oh, man. What am I doing? There we go. Another one dead. I'm 100% gonna get grubbed at some point in this fight. Oh my, <sighs> wow. As my time was running out and my rust experience was coming to an end, I wanted to do as much roaming as I could. the old Thompson man. Ow. Oh my 
god, that one just didn't want to die. Thought it was dead both times. I love being next to the Arctic base, just the amount of ammo you get for free. I've literally never had to craft ammo yet this way. The guy's running straight towards me. I can wait right here. Should be a free kill. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was more geared than that. Oh well. Gosh, that guy took a lot of bullets. Using a saw. Mine now. He even had a rug for me. A legend. Another Tommy. To add to the collection. Ooh. That guy's AK. I almost whiffed. I almost whiffed. Give me that shit, man. Oh, that's the guy that killed me a couple times earlier. So he's the one that lives in the big old compound. I see. And there it was. The AK-47 in my hands. But I wasn't just going to leave it in base. I took it straight back out for some roaming. Let's do this. Dad. I'm getting door camped by a polar bear. Okay. Well, now I gotta heal. Ooh, that's a hazzy. Oh, this feels good, man. Oh my. 370 scrap. Okay, dude. Thank you. Ooh, SARS. I keep lagging, man. Someone's raiding. Is that an online raid? Oh, I can't push that. He's just gonna PvP rocket me. That would be stupid. Oh, this AK feels so nice, I won't lie. against that guy. Good comps. And seeing as my time was coming to an end, I thought I'd try and take Heli, without a shooting floor and with a wooden compound. In hindsight, it probably wasn't the best idea. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> Let's do it. This is not gonna end well, I know that. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh no! I barely even hit it, man. Uh oh. <laughs> Fuck. Oh dear. And that is gonna wrap up my journey on my solo Rust server. Unfortunately, I couldn't really play any more of the week. I had too much work going on with uni, and it just wasn't gonna happen. I would have liked to play some more, it would have been great to do some raids, but we'll have to save that for another series. Massive thank you to my patrons, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Wiljam, out.